This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. It's the fifth annual Oscar Prediction Show! From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. It's that time again, Oscar Predictions. And we make predictions having seen two of the movies. <laughs> yeah, we don't see any of the nominated films. We saw La La Land. Well, we also saw Florence Foster That's Jenkins. true, that's true. And we see who won the awards leading up to the Oscars, and then who gets the most buzz is our is our method. <laughs> yeah, with a couple other things thrown right. in. We have some rules. If you die, if you died, you're in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Biopics rule. Mm-hmm. Portraying an illness works well. Mm-hmm. If you have multiple nominations without a win, that helps mm-hmm. the Susan Lucci rule. We will list uh, also list previous Oscar record where applicable. Okay. So if an actress has nominations before or wins before, we'll list that. Mm-hmm. As well as odds, as of February 4th, we're taping this a little bit in advance, based on an average score from nicerodds.co.uk. Okay. So saying what the betting line is for mm-hmm. a particular people. Starting with supporting actor, Marisha Lee, who got... Uh, Zero nominations, never been nominated, and is currently going at one-to-one odds Mm -hmm. for the film Moonlight. Right. And he has already won the Critics' Choice, the New York Critics' uh, Choice, the SAG Award. And our pick. And our pick, because we're going with that as well. Yeah, there's just no way to vote against him. The other nominees, Jeff Bridges for Helen Highwater. Right. Lucas Hedges for Manchester by the Sea. Dev Patel for Lion. And Michael Shannon for Nocturnal Animals. Um, all are, are good, but you know they just haven't gotten the attention that this movie has gotten. Right. Moving on to Supporting Actress. Viola Davis, who's been nominated twice, no wins at 1 to 1 odds. Naomi Harris, no nominations, 15 to 1 odds. Nicole Kinman, three nominations, one win, 12 to 1 odds. Mm-hmm. Octavia Spencer, one, to one, uh, one win, one nomination, 51 to 1 odds. And Michelle Williams, with three nominations, no wins, 10 to 1 odds. So there's a couple things that come into play in this category. Yes. Um, First of all, Viola Davis and Octavia Spencer are both black actresses. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you would think, oh, with the Oscar so white thing, maybe one of them will win. Right. But I think they're going to split that Oh, that's not a bad point. Yeah, you might see a split there. And I think it's going to be Michelle Williams in Manchester by the Sea. Um, She's been nominated before and hasn't won. Yeah, actually three times has not won. Yes. And now I'm not saying anything uh, as to who's deserving in this because right. I have not seen any of the movies. <laughs> I do not know who was the best supporting actress. <laughs> right. I am just going by statistics. What I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, and I actually picked Viola Davis. Um, she won Golden Globes and Critics' Choice, but uh, Michelle Williams won New York Critics' uh, Choice. So mm-hmm. it's. Uh, yeah, I, and I can see the split. I think that's I think that's not a bad theory. Animated movie, Kubo and the Two Strings at seven point five to one, Moana at twenty one to one, My Life as a Zucchini forty one to one, The Red Turtle forty one to one, and Zootopia at one point one to one. And Zootopia has won every everything, other award, so, so it's, it's pretty much a lock. Pretty much a lock. There is no Pixar movie. No, there. Yeah. No Pixar movie. Yeah. Uh, uh, Finding Dory did not get nominated. Mm-hmm. Original song. Audition, The Fools Who Dream from La La Land at 6 to 1. Can't Stop the Feeling from Trolls at 15 to 1. Oh, I just can't see them giving anything to the movie <laughs> Trolls. No, no. City of Stars from La La Land, 1.1 to 1. The Empty Chair from Jim, the James Foley story 
at 31 to 1. And how far I'll go for Moana at six to one. And the only one of those songs you really hear very much of in play, I think, is City of Stars. Right, and it won Golden Globe and Critics' Choice, so mm -hmm. that's pretty much a lot for, for both of us. Director, Mel Gibson, who's been nominated twice and won twice. Uh, for Hacksaw Ridge. But both times he won were before his meltdown, right? Yes, and that's why it's at 34 to 1 odds for him. Mm -hmm. Barry Jenkins, never nominated for Moonlight at 7 to 1. Kenneth Lonegren for Manchester by the Sea. He has been nominated twice, but has won 9 to 1. Dennis Villeneuve from Arrival has never been nominated, 8.4 to 1. And Damien Chazelle from La La Land. First time nomination, one to one odds. He's won the Golden Globe. He's won the Critics' Choice. He just won the Directors Guild. Uh, the only one he didn't win of the majors was New York uh, uh, Critics' uh, Choice. And we're both going with him. I think he'll probably win, but. Right. Best actor Casey Affleck. One nomination, no wins, Manchester by the Sea, mm -hmm. 1.5 to 1. Andrew Garfield, uh, Hacksaw Ridge, has not been nominated, 34 to 1. Ryan Gosling, one nomination, no wins for La La Land. But he did win for Golden Globe for La La Land. Right, but he's 13 to 1. Viggo Mortensen, one nomination, no wins for Captain Fantastic, 67 to 1. Mm -hmm. And Daniel, uh, Denzel Washington... He's been nominated six times, won twice for Fences, two to one odds. Now, the odds barely say Casey Affleck. Mm -hmm. However, there's the whole controversy going on about Casey Affleck right now mm -hmm. uh, about some uh, uh, sexual misconduct. <laughs> and so while he won Golden Globe, he won Critics' Choice, and he won New York's uh, Critics' Choice, he did not win the SAG Award. That was won by Denzel Washington. And based solely on the controversy with Casey Affleck, I'm going with Denzel. I picked Denzel, too. Um, yeah. <laughs> Best Actress, Isabel Huppert. Uh, zero nominations for L, 9 to 1 odds. Ruth Nega, no nominations for Loving, 26 to 1 odds. Natalie Portman, two nominations, one win for Jackie, 44.5 to one odds. Emma Stone, one nomination, no wins. La La Land, 1.2 to one odds. And Meryl Streep, 19 nominations, three wins. Florence Foster Jenkins, 41 to one odds. I picked Meryl, and you know why? Why? I picked her because of her Golden Globe speech. Oh, okay. And the fact that Trump said she was underrated. Oh, that might... And I think that's going to prompt every single person in Hollywood to vote for Meryl Streep. And at this point, Emma Stone is quite young. She'll, She'll have, have plenty of opportunities. opportunities. See, I, I went for Emma Stone, but I can see... I can definitely see your theory making sense. Mm -hmm. Even though Meryl did not get any of the major awards, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, Emma Stone got... The Golden Globe uh, and the SAG. Natalie Portman got Critics' Choice. Isabel Huppert got the New York uh, Critics' Choice. And also the Golden Globe because they give it to both uh, the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what is it? The dramatic and the comedic. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I really, I really think that they're going to make a statement about Meryl. I think that makes sense. I wish I'd, I don't know, I wish I'd thought of that. Mm, you may have that. Moving on, finally, to Best Picture, Arrival, 101 to 1 odds. Yeah, that's never going to win. Fences, 51 to 1 odds. Mm -hmm. Hacksaw Ridge at 51 to 1 odds. Mm -hmm. Hell or High Water at 101 to 1 odds. Mm -hmm. Hidden Fences, no, they figures, <laughs> at 13 to 1 odds. La La Land at 1.1 to 1 odds. Lion at 67 to 1 odds. Manchester by the Sea at 11 to 1 odds, and Moonlight at 6 to 1 odds. Now, let's go before we give our predictions. Here's who won what. Okay. La La Land won, The Golden Globe, The Critics' Choice, 
the Producers Guild, and the prestigious Central Ohio Film Critics <laughs> Choice. Uh, Hidden Figures won the SAG Award. Uh, Moonlight also won Golden Globe because, because they of were in different categories. Different criti- uh, comedy versus drama. Mm-hmm. With all that being said, we're both going with La La Land. Yeah. <laughs> so well, we, we agreed on a lot of stuff, and we don't look at each other's information, you know, our decisions, no. our predictions beforehand. No. But we just happen to pretty much go pretty much lockstep for a lot of this. Mm-hmm. I, you know, well, the Meryl Streep a... one, you know, is 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 out of the, is out of the, the uh, that lockstep. Mm-hmm. But we shall see. Yeah, <laughs> it's always interesting to be completely wrong with your Oscar yeah. predictions. <laughs> <laughs> so you can uh, watch the Oscars when we do. But in the meantime, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Oscar, Oscar, who will win? <laughs>